Hi, I'm Mike Brightman, and today I'm going to take you through some brand new functionality in Lumion 8.3, Live Sync for SketchUp. Live Sync is an active link between SketchUp and Lumion. It gives a clear, real-time view of your design in the context of the real world. This new functionality increases efficiency when iterating on design. It allows you to make more informed design decisions during internal reviews, and also allows you to deliver impressive, polished client presentations. Now, even more than before, beautiful renders are within your reach. Let me show you how. First, you'll need to install the Lumion Live Sync plugin in SketchUp. Click on the window dropdown and open the Extension Manager. At the bottom left corner, click on Install Extension. Navigate to where you've saved that Lumion Live Sync plugin, select the file, and choose Open. The Lumion Live Sync toolbar appears. We can close out of the Extension Manager, and you're ready to sync. To demonstrate this new Live Sync functionality, I'm going to show you a project I've been working on here in Denver. It's a renovation over on Milwaukee Street. Let's hop in and check it out. Okay, so here's my SketchUp model. It's a pretty uh, modern new renovation over there on Milwaukee. And we are ready to sync this into Lumion and get started on our presentation so we can make those real-time design decisions. So before we start Live Sync, let's optimize our screen. So I'm going to click and drag that top heading down and to the left and let go, and then I'm going to click on my Lumion window. I'm also going to start a plain Lumion presentation. In SketchUp, I'm going to auto-hide my default tray. Now, keep in mind that I'm doing a split screen on one monitor, but for you, if you have multiple monitors or if you have like a really nice TV in your conference room, it'd be easy to have your SketchUp window on the main presentation computer and then have your Lumion window with the live sync running on that other one. So, Let's start Live Sync and see what happens. So when I click on Start Live Sync, what this is going to do is going to bundle everything up in SketchUp and push it out to Lumion and drop it at 000 in Lumion. So let's let that cook and then we'll get to it. All right, so there is our SketchUp model dropped into Lumion right at 000. What I often do in Lumion, first things first, is just select that model and move it up to zero, five, zero. That way it's sitting up above the, above the ground plane. All right, now check this out. In SketchUp, as I orbit around, we're not syncing quite yet. If I click on this Start Camera Synchronization, now, as I orbit in SketchUp, my Lumion presentation is tracking right alongside it. Perfect. Okay, so we're looking pretty good here, but you know what? We haven't added any materials yet. So this is just kind of that flat import in, in Lumion. So let's just check this out though. Any glass that I've assigned in SketchUp comes in already as Lumion glass. So glass is already set up for us. And also water comes in as well. We don't have any water in this model, but glass and water do automatically get textured in Lumion. So, for this particular model, we could go through and texture the whole thing, but I actually have a material set that I've already created. So we're going to choose Load, and I'm going to pull up that material set, and that way we have a perfectly textured model to demonstrate this live sync functionality. Perfect. I'll say Save, and now watch this. As I orbit around in SketchUp, I can take a look at that model with all those nice textures using those familiar SketchUp navigation commands, just like that. All right, so we're looking good. Now, the next thing I would do in Lumion is I'd start to add objects before we get into creating our, our scenes, right, our, our photographs. So let's uh, take a look at it from above, and let's add some trees in here. So I'll go over to my objects under place mode, and then I would start clicking on the nature, and let's see, let's go in here, and if I search for something like elm, and then I can pick one that's not too big, like that, and then I would just start clicking and placing those trees on my site. So that way we have something kind of working in representing that real world site for us. All right. But I got to tell you, I do already have some objects placed. So we're going to use this merge scene command. I'll click on merge scene. I'm going to bring in these Milwaukee Street objects that I've already used and just let those drop in there. All right. So that way we do have our actual site. And I got to tell you that merge scene command, that is excellent for distributing work amongst a team. One person could be dropping all the trees and objects while the other person is texturing and setting up camera views. And then whenever everyone's complete, you just merge those scenes and get all the objects in with all your, your textured model and your cameras. Great way to distribute work. All right. 
So again, as I'm orbiting around in SketchUp, now we've got our model represented here in real time, okay? Now, before we get to making any changes, I think it's pretty cool. I mean, you, you can see that there's already a value in having all of these objects in there and seeing a, a much more realistic represent, representation. But I gotta tell you, if I go over into the photo mode and set up our first camera view right here, and uh, I'll even just add a snapshot, that's fine. And then I'll click on custom style and choose one of these styles that Lumion has provided us with. So I'm gonna go with uh, realistic, all right? And then I'm gonna click on build with effects, like that. And now, as I'm orbiting around here, we're tracking with a much more polished view of our model. One thing I did notice is that our focal distance gets a little bit different. So to fix that, I'm just gonna go back here and I'm gonna change this focal distance. I'll set it to 35. I double clicked on that slider, hit backspace a few times, set that to 35, and now it's a little bit more in, in tune with what I've got going on here in SketchUp. So check that out. You know, you can navigate around and take a look at all that. Uh, let's see, we can even, um, yeah, that looks good. So uh, let's go in here and make a change. And so let's say maybe one change I'd make is like, maybe I wanna extend this out. So we'll pull this, this canopy out by 36 inches. And look at that, my change happens in real time, casting those shadows, it has all the same textures. And then I don't want that to be just a straight projection. I want that to kind of snap to this angle and trim that up. Pretty cool. So we get all those real time feedback. Maybe on these windows, I might even decide, uh, these guys are like dynamic components. So it even works with like dynamic components. I can scale these down to 0.5, hit enter, and then make a copy of these windows straight up and so we're changing those, the, the look of those windows, all happening in real time, and we're seeing those in like a nice rendered view in Lumion. And um, yeah, so as I kind of scoot around, see those changes happening. Very good. Okay, so that's how you can make some real time design decisions using this live sync in Lumion. Just a much more polished view than what you'd see in SketchUp. Now, I gotta tell you that uh, that's the type of scene I would use when I'm, uh, when I'm making those design decisions, but maybe if I'm gonna do a client presentation, I might wanna do something with a little bit more softer look to it. So let's check out that watercolor effect. There's a brand new one that looks great here in Lumion. So I'm gonna hit back, click on this style button, and just click on watercolor, and then click build with effects. I mean, this is absolutely spectacular for that one-click functionality of now being able to kind of move around through this space. I mean, with very little effort when it comes to effects, we get this beautiful look. So those styles are really solid that came out with Lumion 8, and they're really, really great for these client presentations. So you can imagine if you throw this up on the big screen and you've got the, uh, the presenter running the, the show over here, you can get some really cool effects going on. So, well, there you have it. The new LiveSync in Lumion 8.3 provides a seamless connection between SketchUp and Lumion. With LiveSync, you're sure to realize enormous gains in productivity during both your design reviews and your client presentations. Lumion 8.3, it's a free upgrade for all existing Lumion 8 licenses. So watch for that getting started in Lumion email, download this new version, and get started syncing. So I'm Mike Brightman. Thank you so much for watching today, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.